Hey, what up? This is Joe representing Jacksonville, Florida. You're watching My Strange Life with Fred Spencer. Best vlog on YouTube, y'all. Hi, Fred here. I bet you've got goals you'd like to accomplish in 2015. And I've been talking to Cheryl Ann, and she's given me some great insight on how to accomplish your goals. I think you should really listen to this. Where I'm going, I don't know. Hope it's warm and sunny. Hope there's lots of money and lots of friends. Rains all night, runs all day. Everybody likes to play. Hi there, folks. It's Cheryl Ann and Fred here to be with you again. We're joining you in the early part of 2015, and we want to talk to you about how to have the best year of your life for 2015. You know, every time uh, during this time of year, I carve out five or six hours over, you know, two or three days where I don't do any work. Instead, I just take a notebook and take those few days of the new year by myself and reflect on the year and dreaming about the year to come. You know, this is the best part of the year. Even more than Christmas, even more than New Year's Eve and the champagne, etc. It helps me to relax and uh, to refocus. And with just a few hours over, you know, two or three days or so, it sustains my work for the rest of the year. And I'd like to share this reflection with you. What did you love about your 2014? What was it that made you struggle? You know, we reflect for two reasons. It helps us to learn how to make the future better, but reflection is also an end in itself. Your memory is one of your greatest assets. So, during this time, write down the best and the worst times of your year in an important exercise for yourself. Take time to reflect on 2014. Reconnect with your desires. I don't know about you, but you know, I don't really uh, want to work on goals and desires that I don't really want. So instead, spend time reconnecting with your actual desires. What do you really want to do in this next year? What do you really want? To accomplish? How do you really want to grow as a person and who do you want to become? You know, life isn't time for half-hearted dreams, so focus on your greatest desires. Now we want to talk to you about what are your dreams. Ask yourself the following questions to spur your dreaming. What do you really, really want in 2015? What do you want to accomplish in this year of 2015? Whom do you want to become? This time next year, when you look back at what you did in 2015, what stories do you want to tell? And how will it feel once you accomplish these goals that you're writing down? Practice, take your notebook, do the things that we've suggested, and you can't go wrong with that. We want you to have the best year this 2015, and we'd like to thank our friends at The Right Practice for helping us. <laughs> Rains all night, runs all day, everybody likes to play. Hope I have lots of friends, lots of girls, lots of boys. Hope I have lots of money, hope I have nice and sunny. Sitting on a beach somewhere, with in my hand a pair, and a little bit of noise. Just to make things happy, 
good music every day, good things to eat to play. Hope it's always sunny, except it can rain at night. It's gonna be funny, hope I have a great time.